Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to the Aliens Vlog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to discuss how to compute the discount rate of a bank discount. We are going to discuss how to compute the discount rate of a bank discount. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss discount rate. Number two, Determine the formula to be used in solving discount rate. And number three, solve the discount rate of a given problem. Those are the three objectives that we need to meet at the end of this lesson. Always remember, according to Germany Kent, you are a work in progress. Give yourself the space and grace for improvements. Again, according to Germany Kent, you are a work in progress. Give yourself the space and grace for improvements. Let's now try to unlock keywords. Proceeds. This is the amount of money the borrower receives. Proceeds. This is the amount of money the borrower receives. Next, the rate of interest or D. Rate of interest or rate of discount. I'm sorry. That means it is the percentage rate charge on a loan or paid on savings. Again, it is the percentage rate charge on a loan or paid on savings. T, time period. That means the duration of the payment. D is for the bank discount. Then F is the maturity value or face value. What is discount rate? Discount rate, it is a percentage rate on the given bank discount. Discount rate, it is the percentage rate on the bank discount. Let's now try to solve an exam example number one. Carla signed 9,700 pesos note with a bank discount. The note will mature in 2.5 years. The proceeds were 8,200 pesos. What was the discount rate? Again, Carla signed 9,700 pesos. Note with a bank discount, the note will mature in 2.5 years. The proceeds were 8,200. What was the discount rate? Let's now try to determine the discount rate formula to be used. We have discount rate is equal to bank discount over maturity value multiplied by time, or it can be, excuse me, Discount rate is equal to maturity value minus the proceeds over the maturity value multiplied by time. First step in solving the given problem. First, determine the given, then identify the formula to be used in order for us to solve it. To solve it. Okay, let's identify the given. We have final value that is 9,700 pesos. Final value or maturity value, that is 9,700 pesos. We have proceeds, that is 8,200 pesos. Then time, that is 2.5 years. And we are going to look for the discount rate. Since we have the given, we have maturity value, proceeds, and time. We are now going to use this formula since discount rate is equal to Maturity value minus proceeds over maturity value multiplied by time. Let's now try to substitute the given on the formula. And it goes like this. Maturity value, which is 9,700 pesos, minus proceeds, that is 8,200 pesos, divided by the final value or maturity value, that is 9,700 pesos, multiplied by 2.5 years, which is the time. Okay. Subtract 9,700 and 2,200. Then multiply 9,700 by 2.5 years. 9,700 minus 8,200. That is 1,500. Then 9,700 multiply by 2.5 years. That is 24,250. Again, subtract. 9,700 minus 8,200, that is 1,500. 
Then multiply 9,700 by 2.5 years, that is 24,250. Next, we are going to divide 1,500 by 24,250. And the final answer is 0 0.0619. To convert 0 0.0619 into, the, into percentage, you are going to multiply 0 0.0619 0 0.0619 by 100 and the answer is 6.19%. Or just simply move twice to the right from the decimal point, twice to the right, and the answer is 6.19%. Again, subtract the final value minus the proceeds, that is 1,500. Then multiply the final value by the number of years or time, that is 24,250. Then we are going to divide 1,500 by 24,250. That is 0 0.0619. And you need to multiply this one by 100 to get to convert it into percentage. So the correct answer is 6.19%. That is the discount rate of the given problem. Let's have another example. Carlos signs a 5,500 pesos three months note at the bank and receives a proceeds of 4,925 pesos. Question, what is the discount rate? Let's now determine the discount rate formula. We have D is equal to bank discount over the final value or maturity value multiplied by time, or it can be discount rate is equal to maturity value minus proceeds over maturity value multiplied by time. Let's now try to determine the given and the formula to be used for us to solve the problem. We have now the final value that is 5,500 pesos. We have proceeds is equal to 4,925 pesos and the time is equal to 3 months or 3 divided by 12 years or 0 0.25 years. 3 divided by 12 is 0 0.25 years and we are going to look for the value of the discount rate. The formula to be used since given final value and final value proceeds and time you can use this formula. Discount rate is equal to maturity value minus proceeds over maturity value multiplied by time. Let's now solve this one. I know all of you are excited and I know that you were, you were able to understand or you understood the process a while ago. Let's now substitute the given on the formula and it goes like this. That is discount rate is equal to maturity value minus the proceeds then over maturity value multiplied by the time. 5,500 minus 4,925 is 575. 5,500 minus 4,925, the answer is 575. Then 5,500 multiplied by 0 0.25, the answer is 1,375. 5,500 multiplied by 0 0.25, the answer is 1,375. Let us now divide 575 by 1,375 and the answer is 0 0.41818. 0 0.41818. Let's convert this one into percentage and the final answer is 41.82%. We are, we are just going to multiply 0 0.4182 by 100 and the percentage rate or the discount rate is 41.82%. And that's how easy solving discount rate is in terms of bank discount. I hope that you were able to follow our simple instructions for today. Always remember, mathematics will always, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. See you on our next tutorial.